Hello friends. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to clean dirty data by using a tool that is embedded within Excel. It's called Power Query and by using it we can clean dirty data like uh, the one that I'm going to show you. It has multiple levels and no headings. That means it is difficult to make sense of this data. Of course when you look at it you'll be able to figure it out. Here we have the years, we have the countries Singapore, USA and India and we have the multiple categories as well as the sales figures. But uh, you can see certain things are blank. For example, there's no heading here and there's no heading here. There's no heading for the word year as well. How are we going to analyze the data and find out the sales for each particular category or country or a particular year? So let's get started and see how we can easily clean and analyze this data using Excel's Power Query as well as then analyze it with the pivot table feature of Excel. If you want to try it out yourself, I will leave the description to the sample Excel file in the description of this video. So let's get started. The very first thing we need to do is to invoke Power Query. Now there's no direct button in Excel called Power Query but this button is hidden under data. So when we click data you will see we have a get and transform data and depending on your version you might have this uh, button called from table, from table slash range or only from range. That's the one that we are looking for. When we click this Excel will automatically try to force us to create the table uh, clear the data as a table but because there are no headings I wouldn't even choose the my table has headers so we'll uncheck this and simply click OK. So now what will happen is once I click OK Excel will now open a new window and invoke Power Query Editor. As you can see on the top left we see the table 1 Power Query Editor. Even though uh, we don't have a table but Microsoft Excel has created a table called table 1. This doesn't make so much uh, meaningful name so we'll change it to uh, country sales data and this will be the name of our query. Now as you can see we only have column 1, column 2, column 3 everything is separate columns but uh, these are not the proper column names. And this data is going to grow horizontally if we add another fourth country or a fifth country. So in Excel, it's best if the data is columnar. That means we have multiple rows but not hundreds of columns. So what we will do is we'll flip this data by using a feature in Excel called transpose. We could have done this in Excel but then we can also do this in Power Query. So all I'll do is I'll select the entire data by clicking Control A and the entire table is now selected, all the data. So we go to Transform and directly below Transform you will see the Transpose which flips rows into columns and columns into rows. So I'll quickly click on this and you can see immediately our data is now flipped. The columns have become rows and rows have become columns. Of course, now it looks like we have more columns until the data for the year 2025. It's in column number 2022. Uh, now, as you can see, we have some blanks, null values, and our, uh, we have the years listed here. So it may make sense to bring the year as the heading. And that's what we can do when we go to home and we can say, to Power Query that our data now contains um, the first row as headers. So I simply click use first row as headers. By doing this our data gets promoted the first row is now become the header. So you can see here 2006, 2007, 2008 and this looks way better than having just the column 1, column 2, column 3. Of course uh, now we could give a better name for column 2. For example, we could call this category. You can rename by double clicking on the heading category. So I renamed it as category. 
I also want to rename this column as country but the problem is there are some blank values in here nulls and uh, you know if you leave a country as blank or null then we can't make a pivot out of it because it would not know which country it belongs to but of course by looking at it you know that this should be Singapore this should be Singapore and this value should be USA the power query is a read only tool means you cannot double click and change the value so what we can do is we'll click on the column one right click and we'll say we would like to fill the values from the value above so fill down by doing that if a column is null it picks the value from above and that value is filled down now the data looks way much better let's rename column one so we double click and change this to country now our data is looking so much better country is country categories are visible only problem is that we have multiple years showing as multiple columns and as the data will grow in future years we are going to have more columns so as I mentioned to you we need to have data in columns where the number of rows is increasing not the number of columns is increasing so what we can do is another nifty feature in Excel's power query which does not exist in normal Excel so what we can do is we can select our first two columns which will remain static and then we want all the other columns to be flipped and transposed so we can easily do that by right clicking and choosing to say unpivot other columns this will flip only the remaining columns and as you can see now the first two columns stay put but all the other columns from the year 2006 all the way to 2025 they have been flipped over unpivoted so, so now, now I, I can change, change the, the name of this, this column to year it makes sense, sense. And, and then the, the value we, we could rename it as sales by doing this now the data looks so much neat and clean we are pretty much done in fact all the steps that we have done have been recorded so if you missed a step if you made a mistake you could always go back and see you know when we first got the data it was looking so ugly and dirty and then uh, we had done a uh, transpose after that we had promoted the headings to be the first row and then uh, Excel had done some data type changes we renamed the first column uh, category and then we filled down the values for the countries uh, renamed the country column unpivoted other columns and renamed the remaining columns all the steps are recorded we can go back and forth and make any changes if we really have to right now everything is done perfectly well we are done with the power query which was we have cleaned the dirty data and it looks pretty neat and clean so now we can click on the close and load this will close power query and now we are in a new sheet country sales data this is the name of our query so that we can see here country sales data and all the data has been loaded successfully so now we can analyze the data by creating a pivot table all we need to do is click on insert pivot table is the first button and we can create a pivot table in the existing sheet just make sure don't be so close to the existing data give it some amount of social distancing and then uh, we are going to click OK now there are only four columns and it's pretty easy to pick the country the category and the sales so now we are looking at the grand total of all the sales but of course if you want to pick a particular year we can take the year and bring it into the filters now you could choose a particular year like 2008 and the data shows only 2008 similarly we could go all the way to 2023 and click OK or 2025 and click OK now of course uh, you could choose multiple years here but then you will have to click on you select multiple items 
when we do that and we select multiple years uh, of course the data is combined for those two years but now there's no clear and easy way to figure out which years were selected because the filter just says multiple items of course we can find it by clicking on it and scrolling up and down but there's a better way to do this and for doing that I'll come out of this year filter instead we will insert a slicer which is available in Excel so when I slice the data for the year we can see all the years and uh, now the good thing is we can scroll and we can pick uh, one year we can pick multiple years by holding the control key so if I click 2023 2024 2025 now the data is combined and even though the filter shows multiple items you can actually visually see which years have been selected so to be frank I don't need the filter area here and we can uncheck the year from the pivot table because the slicer is acting as our filter so this is a fantastic way to quickly clean dirty data that did not even have headings and had multiple levels of data we had countries we had categories years all of them without any heading and in just a few clicks we managed to clean the data load it back into Excel and are now analyzing it year by year by year so this is such a fantastic method I hope you uh, will be able to benefit from it and if you enjoyed this video if you are new to power query do watch our uh, more videos coming up on power query uh, do like our channel subscribe to it and do give us a thumbs up I will wait for your comments on how you are using power query and how did you enjoy this video thanks for watching all the best